Good morning, friends. How are you today? I'm so glad to hear that. Mrs. Wise's glasses are very dirty, so I'm going to wash them fast, fast. Um, I want to welcome my students. I'm always so happy, happy to know that you're on here watching our videos, so that way we can keep on learning together and growing together. You make me so proud. This has been such a different kind of way to learn, hasn't it? I know, but you've really done a great job. You've been working with your families at home, really staying focused, trying to get some work done, keep your brain ready to roll, always learning and growing, right? So that's been a little bit of a challenge for us, hasn't it, during this time? But something that I've learned is that if you can learn how to keep challenging yourself in life and how to um, keep on thinking about um, that the process of learning is such an important thing, right? That how we learn and how we keep information is so important. And through this, you guys have really had to use those skills. So you make me super proud, all right? You're developing some really good um, habits at home to learn how to um, learn new information and remember old information. So keep doing what you're doing. My good friends, maybe that haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, this is just a fun opportunity for us to think about some of our daily meeting skills and also have a little fun together. All right, so let's get rolling today. Today I was feeling kind of motivated. I hopped right up, ran down the stairs, wanted to get rolling today. So I was feeling excited to come here and see you. I'm wondering how you are feeling today. You can take a minute and look and see about, check in with yourself, see how you're feeling today. You know, sometimes I feel curious, like what is this day gonna bring for me, right? I can decide it's gonna be a good day when I wake up in the morning, but I'm not always sure what's gonna happen during that day. Sometimes I'm like, well, what'll happen today? I'm kind of curious, like I, want, I have to wait and see, right? <laughs> Interesting. Well, we always like to keep our energy in balance and our emotions in balance right? Because sometimes our emotions, like how we feel about things, that really does affect how our energy is, right? So we want to have our energy just right so we are ready to access our day and our family and our friends in a really happy, positive way, right? Yes. All right. So I thought maybe, just maybe, we could do, let's do this first today. Can you show me how you listen with your whole body? What's that? Can you show me how you listen with your eyes and your ears? <laughs> and can you show me that calm, quiet body? Good. And those ready hands. Keep your brain in my group and make sure you care about what we're up to today. All right, friends? Okay, okay. All right. So I know that we've been thinking about, this is a cool story that's, that's by Dr. Wayne Dyer and um, Christina Tracy. It's called Incredible You, and we've been thinking about 10 ways to let your greatness shine through. So this story, I know we've, we've done some of these. We've talked about sharing the good, finding what you love, you are filled with love, find a quiet place inside, make today great. So today we're talking about number six, change your thoughts to good. That's like when Mrs. Wise decides to have a great day. I change my thoughts to good right away in the morning. Define number six, and then we'll think about that together. You just got a preview tomorrow, didn't you? I think so. All right. Let's see if I make this real big. We'll, we'll be able to see everything here. Can you see it okay? I think you can. Probably the best we're going to get. Number six is change your thoughts to good. Some problems are big and some problems are small. Thinking good thoughts can help you solve them all. Uh-oh, lost ferret. Lost ferret, call this number. You can ask for help with, what, with what's bugging you and never forget that um, this says God is always there too. We, um, lots of people believe different things about religion. So I'm not gonna say, I, I just think love is always there too. So I think in religions and things like that, we don't talk too much about that during school time, but I just think that everybody thinks about love. So love is always there too, right? So good. Yeah. Think about your ferret. So sweet. So change your thoughts to good. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had a time when you thought, 
you know, this problem is really big. I have a really big problem. How will I solve it? Yeah, you can always reach out to people. You can remember another time that you solved a problem and it went well, right? Remembering prior success, it's a really good way to move through a problem. Yeah. So if you ever feel overwhelmed, just know that there are people there that love you that are ready to help you at any time. All right, so Mrs. Wise is gonna pop on into our daily meeting. Uh, it is still the month of June, right guys? And I'm noticing here, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Today's the 16th day of June. <gasps> Somebody's birthday is tomorrow. Who is this tea for? Torin, it's your birthday tomorrow. I hope you got a little something in the mail from me so you can wear it on your birthday. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What comes after a sandwich? Um, watermelon pie sandwich, 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 watermelon. We need a watermelon for today. I love watermelon. I like the ones without the seeds best. And sometimes I get surprised when there's a seed in my mouth and I don't really like that. So today is, we can go straight up to figure out what day of the week. Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. All right, let's fix this up. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be whoop whoop Wednesday. So tomorrow is going to be our last daily meeting of the year. Okay, friends? I'll be on Torin's birthday, so we'll get to celebrate that. Does that sound good? I think so, too. Okay. So, something else we need to do is think about how many days we've been in school, or how many days I've known my students. I'm going to add one here, one, two, three. And we'll use our eraser to write that number three up here. How do we make a number three? Do you remember that number poem? Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So we've been, I've known my students for 163 days. Are you serious? That's a lot of days. We move our shadow box over one. And that makes 163 days I've known you. I can take a tally mark right here. That's 163 days. Mrs. Wise doesn't feel like counting them all today. Some days I feel like it and some days I don't. I just don't feel like it. Let's go check the weather. I know. Oh, I've got lots of things today. I'm all plugged in today because my battery didn't charge overnight. So we gotta be careful here. So we don't. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Wise, seriously. I'm all tangled. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. What's the weather like out there today? What do you think? Looks pretty good. Sunny, no clouds, a little bit of wind. Can you see my garden down there today? Can you see it? Look at all the stuff that's growing. Everything's getting bigger. I've been taking good care of my garden, giving it some water, right? Giving it some water. I've been also making sure my plants have enough sunshine outside. That's a good thing, right? So cool. All right, so let's see. So today it is a sunny day. We'll add a sunshine for today. No clouds. Nope, nope, nope. And there's some wind out there. We'll throw a little wind right there for us. I do like those windy days. Remember that book we read yesterday? The windy, when, when all the wind was blowing the people's stuff all around. That was so funny. Let's see. Oh, let's stand for the pledge. Hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So good. Okie dokie, friends. So why don't we think about doing some of our arrows today? I know we did some of these yesterday. Oh no, wait, before we do that, let's just see if there's anything fun here for us to do. We already did all these. Did that, did that, did that, did that. Sometimes it's fun to just do some of these. They're kind of cute. Did that, did that. I don't wanna. 
All right, it says touch the group that has the most. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just gonna write the numbers here because that helps me. This one has nine. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has six. How many does this one have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So which number is bigger? If I was gonna count, which number would be the biggest number? Sometimes I think of this. If I were gonna have some, um, the most scoops on my ice cream cone, which one would be the highest, the biggest number of scoops? I think 11, I think you're right. I get happy when I get to dance with you. It makes me happy. Did you guys want to stand up and do that one more time? You do? All right, stand up. Mrs. Wise is going to stay here so you can see. Ready? You want to dance? All right, let's do it. <laughs> we have so much fun together, don't we? Oh my gosh. Let's see if there's one more thing that we want to do today over here. Okay, let's do this one and then we'll think about doing our arrows today that talk about sound blending. Ready? First, let's read. So you can read any sentence now because you know all of the sounds. And this is one of our sight words. The, r, a, b, b, it, rabbit. The rabbit can, mm, with, it's strong, strong back, back legs, legs. The rabbit can mm with its strong but black back legs. Look, hop, or swim. What do you think? Look, hop, or swim. Oh. Hot diggity. Hot diggity. Hot diggity. Hot diggity. Let's read this one. I see. A skunk, skunk on the stump. Hot diggity! This is so silly. All right, let's pop on over and we'll do some of our arrows for today. This is why I had them organized from last time. Remember that? We did these few. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, we have got our arrows here. Let's see what we have. Ready, friends? Let's do these together. I wanna hear your sounds. Sound, please. Err. Ah. Ft. Err, aft. Err, aft. Raft. Yeah, that's like a kind of a thing that people would make. It's almost like a boat that you can make out of wood. It's called a raft. Good. Oh, Monty's got a toy underneath my table. I can hear him. Can you hear him? Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Okay, ready? Well, this is two sounds together. K -r -r. Can you say cr? Ab. Cr ab. Let's tap it out. Crab, crab, ah, pinch, pinch. There's a crab. Careful. <laughs> All right, ready for this one? Two sounds together. What do you think these two sounds together say? Ooh, and ooh, full. You kind of pull those sounds together. Full. part of this backpack is called the flap, the front, front flap. Sure. Let's do two more. I always say that, don't I? Let's do two more. I always like, I think two more is always a good number to do. Ready? Here we go. And two sounds together. 
cur, cur, ib, cur, ib, cur, ib, crib. And there's the crib. That's what a baby might sleep in. Okay, let's do one more for today. Ready, friends? Two sounds together. Cool. Cool. I. Cool. Ip. Let's tap it out. Cool. Ip. Clip. Oh, a clip. Like a little binder clip. Cool. All right. I'm going to put my arrow right in there. We'll do the rest of these tomorrow. Sound good? You guys work so hard. You make me so proud. All right. What's next for us? Oh, we'll do some of our, um, our flip chart for our sight words. We'll save this first. So we're all set for tomorrow. Right, guys? Looking to see if my doggies need to go outside. I don't think they do. So this is just saving. It's pretty good. Okay. So, whoops. Here we go. Let's get our sight word flip charts up and ready. I'm so proud of you. Look at you guys working so hard over there. I love it. If you're ready, touch your shoulders. If you're ready, touch your head. If you're ready, wiggle, wiggle. If you're ready, reach for the sky. Good. Okay. Kindergarten sight words. Here we go. Sometimes when we're waiting, we can do some of those fun waiting strategies. All right, let's see what we have. Let's play. All right, this is a number word. It says five. What does it say? Five, good. Let's read. I have five fingers. Five. What word is this? Do you know this one? Sound it out. You can sound out any word now if you have to, right? What's that beginning sound? Uh, and then we have those two. Uh, and then we have k. Uh, look. Look. Look at the colors of the sky. Look. It's a nice sentence. It has an uppercase letter at the beginning. It has a whole nice thought. And it has a period at the end. Look at the colors of the sky. Beautiful. They. Can you say they? Good. They are funny. They. What word's this? Do you know? She. She is nice. She. Number word. What number is this? R E three. I see three cats. Three. In my house, I have two cats. I have a cat named um, Picasso, but we call him Mr. Pickle Pants. And we have a cat named Mina. She's so cute. So we have a boy and a girl. They're brothers and sisters. So sometimes when I see words, I make connections in my brain. Like, oh, that reminds me of my cats. In this sentence, they have more cats than I have because I only have two. And this one says. Three cats, right guys? Let's do two more. Have, can you say have? I have a toy, have. One more. This is a color word. What color do you think this is? Blue, 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 yeah. Ready? I see a blue bird, blue. So good. I love that. All right, super good. All right, my good friends, let's pop back over here. And I think today I want to read you a couple of stories about frogs. I know we were talking about the life cycles of animals. I have that paper right here. I just love it. I love thinking about the changes that happen. If, um, when I was your age, I thought I, it sort of felt like magic, how creatures would change and grow and how we do that too. We change and grow. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. Right, that's that life cycle of the butterfly. How about egg, hatching, chick, grown chicken. That's a life cycle of a chicken. And then we have, remember the egg, and then the, po the um, polywog, the froglet, and then the frog. Yeah, 
Isn't that cool? So yeah, I was just thinking about frogs. So I thought that I would read for you two stories today. Let's read this one first. This is I'm a Frog by Mo Willems. I thought you would like it. I hope you do. Look at this. Is that really a frog? Wait a minute. What kind of story is this? I'm a frog. No, I don't know. Let's see what happens in this story. Look at this. This is a pig. It's not a frog. And it says ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh my gosh. I'm a frog. Ribbit. Look at the elephant. It's like, what is going on? Ribbit. Piggy. Piggy? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Is Piggy pretending? I hope. What are you doing, Piggy? I'm a frog. Um, you're a frog? Yeah. I did not know that. I was sure you were a pig. You look like a pig and your name is Piggy. I was a pig. Now I'm a frog. Ribbit. You learn something new every day. When did you become a frog? About five minutes ago. Five minutes ago? Five minutes ago, she was a pig. Now she's a frog. Ribbit. What if I become a frog? Hop, hopping all day, eating flies. Yeah. Ribbit. Oh, he's getting nervous. He's sweating. I do not want to be a frog. <laughs> it is okay, Gerald. It is pretend. It is the end. No, Gerald, pretend. I am pretending using my imagination. What is pretending? Pretending is when you act like something you are not. Wow, and you can just do that? You can just go out and pretend to be something you're not? Sure, everyone pretends. Even grown-up people, all the time. You really do learn something new every day. Do you want to try it, Gerald? Do you want to pretend to be a frog for a bit? I think they're good friends. I cannot. Yes, you can, Ribbit. No, I can't. Yes, you can. 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 No, I can't. Why can't you pretend to be a frog? because I am a cow. <laughs> Is he pretending? Oh my goodness, what a cute book. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Moo. Have you ever, ever pretended to be something? Sometimes I pretend when I use my puppet. Remember my puppet? Hang on, I'll go get him. Remember my puppet, Maurice? My little friend? <laughs> Sometimes I pretend. Hello. I pretend that we're friends or that he needs me to take care of him, right? He's so cute. It's fun to pretend sometimes, isn't it, guys? Cute story. All right, let's do, I have one more story to read for you today because why not? We have a little bit of time. Let's Go Froggy by Jonathan London. 
I love Jonathan London stories, the froggy books, they're so cute. Okay, let's see what we have here today. Let's go, Froggy. It was warm. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Birds, butterflies, flowers. Hooray, said Froggy. I want to go out to play. Okay, said his father. How about a bike trip and a picnic? Would you like that? Yes, cried Froggy. Let's go. First, you have to get ready, silly, said his father. Okay, said Froggy. I'm getting ready. So where are they gonna go? For a bike trip. Who's gonna go? The dad and the frog, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you think they wanna go for a bike trip? Well, because it sounds kind of fun, that's why, right? So Froggy got dressed, he pulled on his underwear, zap, he pulled on his shorts, zip, he pulled on his socks, zoop, he pulled up his sneakers, zup, and he buttoned his shirt. Maybe you can see it really good if I put the slide on here. Maybe even this one too. Ooh, look, you can see it a little bit better. Isn't that nice? Um, quick question. Do frogs usually wear clothes, like underwear and stuff? No, this story must be fantasy. It's a pretend story. Froggy! Called his father. Let's go, I'm ready, yelled Froggy and flopped out to show him. Flop, flop, flop. The froggy said his father, you need your bicycle helmet. I don't know where it is, said froggy. It's wherever you left it. I forget. You have to look for it. I love that they both have on their striped shirts. They're so cute. So froggy looked for his helmet. Flop, flop, flop. He looked under the sink. He looked inside the fridge. He looked in his toy chest. Found it, I found it, yelled Froggy, and he put it on with a slap. Zat. I love the sound effects in this book. Froggy! Called his father. Let's go, I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. You should bring your butterfly net, said his father. I don't know where it is. It's where you left it. I think they want to catch a butterfly. So Froggy looked for his butterfly net, flop, flop, flop. He looked under the coffee table, bonk. He hit his head, a chihuahua, see him? He looked um, in the garbage can, slam. He looked in his father's golf bag. I found it, yelled Froggy, and swung it by a fly, swish, but he missed. <laughs> Sometimes things get put in crazy places. Uh-oh, my favorite part. Froggy! Called his father. Let's go, I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flip, flip, flip. How about the um, ball Grandpa gave you? Asked his father. I don't know where it is. It's where you left it. So Froggy looked for his ball, flop, flop, flop. He looked under the stove, bonk. He always hits his head. He looked in the cookie jar. Uh-oh, slam. He looks pretty happy to be in that cookie jar. Do you think he had a cookie while he was there? I bet he did. He looked in the bathtub. Hop, hop, hop. I found it. He kicked it into the goldfish bowl. Splash. I don't think the goldfish liked that very much. Let's see what's next. <laughs> Froggy! called his father, let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy, flop, flop, flop. Let's bring the bag of peaches Auntie Lulu gave you, said his father. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. So Froggy looked for the bag of peaches, flop, flop, flop. He looked under the kitchen table, bonk. He looked in his closet, he looked in his bed, I found it, yelled Froggy, and he took a bite, scrunch. He found the, pe the bag of peaches in his bed. Ew, he was getting kind of hungry. Should those peaches be in his bed? I think Froggy maybe should have a spot for his things where he puts them so that he can find them more easily. Don't you think? It's kind of crazy, he spends half his day running around looking for stuff. Froggy! 
Call this round and let's go. I'm ready, y'all, Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. Daddy, can I bring that pack of trading cards Uncle Ger Gerald gave me? Okay, Froggy, but hurry, let's go. I don't know where it is. It's where you left it. Oops, here it is. I found it. It was in my pocket. Can we go now, Daddy? I'm ready. Okay, but you do know where my red backpack is, asked his father. Daddy, it's where you left it. I forget, Froggy pointed. It's on your back, Froggy laughed. Oops, cried Fro Froggy's father, looking more red in the face than green. Ready to go at last, Froggy flopped over to the bicycle. Flop, flop, flop. Let's go, Froggy, said his father. I'm hungry, said Froggy. I want to eat now. So they ate their picnic on the patio. Munch, scrunch, munch. Okay, I'm ready, said Froggy. Let's go, said his father. <laughs> they got all ready, but they haven't gotten very far. And they pedaled off into the sunset. Whee! Looks like they're having some fun together, huh? <laughs> Froggy's going on a bike trip and picnic with his daddy. Will he ever find all the things he needs? He did end up finding it, but it took him a long time, right, guys? I felt like that some days where we tried to get going. It just took us longer than I thought to kind of get all of our stuff together. All right, let's see what we're up to today. I know we've been talking a lot about families. We talked about holidays. Remember that? We talked about our special, where do we stop? I think we stop. Yeah, okay. So we had talked a little bit yesterday about different holidays. And then this one says, our country's special days. Martin Luther King wanted people to be free. He wanted laws to be fair to all people. His birthday is in January. George Washington was a president. Abraham Lincoln was one too. Their birthdays are in February. So we celebrate these days by having like the day off to maybe think about the, the important stuff these people did to be with our families. We have special days for people. We also have special days for special things. Arbor Day is our tree day. Some people plant trees. They show that they love trees. This is the American flag. We have our holiday for our flag. It's called Flag Day. We celebrate Flag Day on June 14th. That just went by. Famous Americans. Rachel Carson was a scientist. She studied nature. She loved nature all her life. She loved how the seasons changed. Rachel Carson worked for the United States. She helped care for rivers and seas. Rachel Carson wrote about nature. One of her books told how people were hurting the air, land, and sea. Rachel Carson worked to make the world clean, make a cleaner world. So she sounds like she was ahead of her times a little bit. She was really thinking about how to keep our earth clean, right? She was one of the first people to do that. I think I love her. Yeah. She looks like she's pretty serious about this job. She understands that people were not taking very good care of the earth, right? And still now, even though we are so smart, people are so smart, they still do some things that are not very smart. Like they might hurt the air by having too, many, too much pollution. They might hurt the land by putting their wrappers or their, uh, their, you know, their masks that they wear right now, those face coverings. When they're done, they might just put it on the ground. Is that a good idea? No, those things belong in the trash. And sometimes people might, when they're at the beach, they might throw their trash in the sea, in the ocean. That's not a good idea. We have to put trash where it belongs, right? In the trash barrel. That way our, our sanitation people, our trash guys and girls can come and take our trash away and put it where it belongs, right? Yeah, so that's all. That's all I want to talk to you about there today. Mrs. Wise wants to put a piece of paper here so I know for tomorrow what I did with you. There we go. And then the last thing I think we're up to today 
is just a little neighborhood coloring. I just love this. I'm gonna get my, my colored pencil so we can think and kind of write together. Oh, then I have one more thing I wanna to do too. I'm gonna to make my flower for my meeting that's coming up today. Let's see. Let me see this. Let's get it good. Oh, there we go. It's coming along nicely. Do you like how um, when we take our time to color, things come out beautiful, don't they? So you could use colored pencils for this, or you could use, you know, crayons. I'm just using my colored pencils while I'm thinking about you. So I'm just thinking about that awesome scientist we just learned about and how she was thinking about keeping the air clean. This is the air up here, the sky and the air, right? We keep it clean by not having too much pollution, right? There are special cars we can use that don't have too much pollution. And there are certain rules that companies have to follow so that the air stays clean for us to breathe. That looks pretty good. I made my air up there. Oh, I see some more trees up here. So she also talked about taking care of trees and nature, right? We can do that. We can do that. This is why I was doing some weeding yesterday, taking out some of the weeds that were kind of crowding my trees so my trees could have more room to grow. Oh, looks like I forgot a spot there. See this up here? Oopsie doodle. <laughs> it's okay if we make a mistake. We can just pop right back up there and fix it, huh, guys? All right. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is, oh, this might be one of those places to buy a car. And I wonder if these are those special cars that you can buy to make sure that you take good care of the world, right? I bet they are. Maybe we can make them orange. Look at these cool cars. One orange, two orange, three orange cars, maybe. Should we just make, what other color car do you like? Yellow? Want a yellow car? Sure. You get to decide on yours if you have one at your house, right? And then we also make some of this cool red one over here. This is good. So there's all the cars ready to get bought. Oh, we'll put a red one inside here too. Well, here's some more cars. Maybe these people already bought their cars and they're driving them around town. Do you see cars when you go around town? I do too. Lots of different ones. Sometimes they're white or brown. Yeah, I'll leave that one white. That looks good. Any other cars around town? Oh, here's a car over here. I'll make this one brown. So yeah, cars can be all different colors. And you get to decide which one you like, right? So cool. So, oh, here's the library. I'm gonna make this brown too. Our library is brown, so I'm gonna make this brown. This is like the Thayer Public Library that we go to. We go there to maybe get a book. You know, right now I think it's closed. They might be doing some curbside stuff. Where you can pick up a book, but I don't even think they're doing that right yet. So yeah, Mrs. Wise has a little library in front of our house that we use. I put some books in there and then kids can come and get a book for free. They just take it. Isn't that fun? Yeah, and then I put different books inside there for the next time. All right, that looks pretty good, doesn't it, the library? Well, we could go on forever, keep on, keep on coloring these up. For today, I think that's pretty good. Um, the last thing I want to do before we're done for today is I want to think about how much I've grown. So Mrs. Wise is going to get my papers here, sorry. I have it all cut out and ready. So I thought maybe we could do this together before, before we're done today. So this is a cool thing that I'm thinking about doing. This is um, a picture of me in the middle is what I'll draw. And then I'll draw ideas of all the things, how I've grown this year. And then I'll write my name. So I'm gonna make this flower using all these parts that I have here. So I'm gonna do that now. So first I'm gonna draw a picture of me. Does it have to look just like me, like for reals? I don't think so. But Mrs. Wise is gonna make it like this, ready? So let's see, Mrs. Wise kind of has some crazy hair. Do you agree? Here's my crazy hair, I know. I like it like that. Isn't that funny? Yeah, Mrs. Wise's crazy hair. And then I have got, I've got a face. There's my face. Does that look good? Okay, like that. Uh, I also have got ears. So my ears there. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll even color it a little bit. I'm not really an orange person. I do have my skin colored crayons, but I don't feel like getting them. All right, and then Mrs. Wise has got brown eyes, so I'll put my brown eyes there. See my brown eyes? Hello, I like my eyebrows, right? And then I always have a big smile. Did you, did you know that about me? I always smile real big, so I'll make a really big smile. Hello, what do you think about that? And there's my lipstick. 
Oh, this is starting to look just like me. Maybe I'll use some white for my teeth. I kind of colored in there a little bit by mistake. I do have a nose, so maybe I'll put that on there. Does that look kind of like Mrs. Wise a little bit? Maybe I'll just kind of outline some teeth so you can see that I have some teeth here. Here's my teeth. You see? Put some eyelashes. Make me beautiful. Okay. And then today for this, I'm going to put a big blue dress. And I'm going to write on my dress. You're going to like this. I love, I'm going to write my school name. M S K C. And then Mrs. Wise is going to make her hands go up because I'm so excited. And I'll make little feet. There I am. I'm ready for my day. <laughs> I'm looking pretty good, huh? So good. So let's see. How are some ways that Mrs. Wise has grown this year? I have grown by listening, listening. I've grown by watching. Uh, listening, watching. I have grown by practicing. Practicing. I have grown by trying. What else? Oh, I have grown by caring. How's that sound? So everybody, you might have different things. You could have riding your bike. I've grown by cooking new things. I've grown by, no, nah, this is why I just thought about writing it this way. Okay, so I have thought, grown by caring. So I'm gonna make a heart here. And I'm gonna draw a picture of my cat. Actually, it's my daughter's cat. I'll draw a picture of both of my cats, my daughter's cats and two dogs. Does this look like a dog to you? So I've grown by taking care of my animals. They help me remember to grow. These guys look like this. Does that look like a dog? Does that look like kind of like cats? Yeah. Get some eyes on here. This looks pretty good. Okay. So I've grown by caring about people. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna glue it right onto my flower. Check this out. I've grown by listening to my family and my friends. So I'm gonna just draw a lot of people because I can learn from lots of different kinds of people. So I'm gonna draw them here. See all these people? Whoa, that's a lot of people, Mrs. Wise. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna get my skin color now because, oh, hi, Monty. Well, there's a Monty there. It's pretty fresh, isn't he? All right, let's see. So I've learned that people have all different kinds of skin and that the skin of people of their body is just their wrapping paper. And I've learned that everybody has got special gifts on the inside. And if we take time, to really look at people and understand who they are on the inside and not worry so much about what people look like on the outside, then we can open ourselves to lots of new and different friends. So I love that. Look at all this different skin, right? My skin color might not be the exact same skin color as your skin color, right guys? Yeah, so I'm making lots of different people. Look at all these different people. They all have different colored skin and they're all gonna be so beautiful in their own way. My crayons keep falling onto my lap. Whichever crayon lands on my lap is the one I'm using next. Isn't that funny? Well, there goes another one. All right, so you can see what I'm up to here. I'm using lots of different colors, huh guys? Just using whatever colors. This is why it feels like using here, huh guys? This looks beautiful. Look at all those different colors. Lots of people have different colored skin, huh? Makes me so happy to see them all together, being friends together. Looking on the inside to find what they like about each other, huh guys? All right, so then I'm just gonna make everybody have big smiles. Hello. 
everybody's gonna be happy today in my group. And so I have grown by learning to listen to lots of different people, okay? And then I'm just gonna give them all little eyes. I'm not sure you can see them all, so I'm just gonna do it like this. So you can see everybody is ready to be together here. All right, then I'm just gonna give them lots of crazy hair. So maybe some yellow hair over here. Sure, maybe I know some people have some blue hair. Have you seen that before? Me too. So I'm gonna put some people that have got some black hair, maybe long hair, maybe short hair. Maybe I've seen people with orange hair too. Have you seen that? Yeah, so I'm just gonna give everybody a chance to be in our group here, okay? How's that look? Maybe some brown hair. Some people might have hair like that. Long hair, short hair. Mrs. Wise is putting all the hair. Okay, so I've grown by listening to all different kinds of people, right? It's a great way to learn. Mrs. Wise has learned so much this school year, huh? So I'll stick that on my flower. Okay. I've grown by trying. Mm -mm. Mrs. Wise tried something new. I grew a garden. Did you see that outside? So Mrs. Wise is gonna talk about that for this box. I tried to grow a garden. And inside that garden are my plants. boop -a doop boop 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 boo my beans, all those plants, right? So that's a good one. So my garden. Okay, stick that on. I'm doing good. This is gonna be a beautiful flower when it's done. I think, I hope so. Should I give up or should I keep working? Oh, practicing. All right, what's something I've practiced? Oh, I know, on my computer. I've had to do a lot of practicing on my computer to get things just right. So I'm gonna just make my computer here. Do, 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 la, 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 la. Right, there's my computer. That's fine, I'll do it just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, does it? I don't think so. That's good. And then we have one more. I've learned by watching. So I learn that if I watch people maybe play the guitar or play the piano, right, that maybe I could do it too. So there's the guitar. So Mrs. Wise is going to be over here watching. Here's Mrs. Wise. And I have that blue dress on. Remember me? Right, and then he'll be, Miss, this is Mr. Wise playing guitar. And if I watch him, maybe I can learn how to do it like he does. He does such a good job. So here's his hands playing that guitar. And his other hand is over here playing the guitar. So maybe if I watch him, I can learn from him, right? So Mrs. Wise is gonna watch. There's my big smile, right? And there's Mr. Wise over here. He's got a big smile. He's got his hair. Mrs. Wise has got her crazy hair, right? Okay, so I'm watching. So sometimes it's good to watch so that you can learn. So that's what Mrs. Wise is doing in this picture. Yay, I love watching. <laughs> that's pretty cute. All right, I'm gonna add this to my, pic my beautiful flower. Stick it right on there. Oh, this is getting good. Look at how pretty that looks. Lots of details on my picture, huh? Okay, so then I have my stem that says, I have grown. I'm gonna put it up here like this. I really have grown. I didn't realize how much I had grown until I thought about this awesome activity. And I have learned to write my name, my first and my last name. Mrs. Wise is just gonna write Mrs. Wise here. Mrs. Wise. All right. This looks pretty good. If I wanted to, I could, you know, color my, color my leaves in if I felt like doing that. Sure, I could. Why not? I get to decide, right, guys? All right, I think this looks pretty good. Look at this beautiful flower. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Well, I think it came out really good. 
So Mrs. Wise is thinking about how much I've grown this year. That was a fun project to do. So I hope you get to think about things that you've grown and done this year, maybe in Mrs. Wise's class or in, at the Monadequit School Kindergarten Center, but maybe at your own school if you don't go to our school. So always be thinking about all that growing that you've been doing. I'm super proud of you. All right, so now I wanna just remind you that um, you can change your thoughts to good. So do that today, okay? Love yourself, love your family, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you.